guys it's Megan oh my god I feel like I haven't seen you in so long and I'm so sorry I haven't made a video since last Thursday and um, a lot of exciting stuff has happened I have a new haircut I dyed my hair and I wanted to show you what I used I used the John Frieda I went back to this after using the L'Oreal Mousse Absolute for the past few times I've dyed my hair um, I went back to the John Frieda because it's just like my number one most amazing amazing hair dye ever and I use the color 3VR Deep Cherry Brown and I've never used this color um but I really like how it turned out so it's a nice rich brown with red undertones and it I think is really gorgeous and my mom cut my hair so I have shorter bangs a little bit shorter length and um so I love this hair dye it's amazing and I wanted to like document what color I use because I can forget what color I've used and it's just nice to like remember what I used on my hair and um, why I had to dye my hair and cut my hair and stuff you might have seen a picture on my Instagram and I mentioned it like in passing in one of my videos but I went to the House of Cards season 3 wrap party on Saturday and it was literally surreal. It was so crazy. I went with this guy that I met in Baltimore the last time I was there. We went to the same college and he invited me to go with him to the party and it was so cool and if you guys watch House of Cards, um, the character Stamper, Michael Kelly, he was there and I met him and he was super amazing and really really cool and I like want to be his best friend and Kevin Spacey was there. He was like not really interested in mingling with people so I didn't want to bother him but I was near him a bunch of times and um, it that was just really cool in itself and they showed a few scenes from season three which premieres February 27th I believe so that was really cool to see like a sneak peek and I met so many people in the crew and it was just a super super amazing time. So um, I like was trying to get all amazing and ready for this occasion so that's why I dyed my hair and cut my hair and I used this um, mask the night before and I really really loved it. This is the Tata Harper resurfacing mask for Instant Glow. If I would have had time that night to do this mask like right before the event that would have been even better but I didn't I knew I wouldn't have time because I was traveling there it's two and a half hours away and um, I just knew that there would be no time to do it and there wasn't so I'm glad that I did it the night before but this is a 100% natural and non-toxic mask and it's kind of like this packet was perfect for one use um, and it's kind of like a I don't want to say jelly but kind of like a thick marmalade type texture. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but I just slathered it all over my face and it says to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. 10 minutes is recommended for sensitive skin. I probably put it on for 30 minutes and it was fantastic. It really like just brightened up my skin. I had like some breakouts on my chin like I get, but it really helped like calm them down and really help my skin look super nice. So this is something that I'm probably going to purchase. Um, it's expensive for the full size, $55, but it's really cool to me that it's all natural and that's just a really big bonus for me. So I really love this and I thought that it was great for like a pampering session before a really, really exciting event. And I, of course, brought out my Chanel makeup to use that night and that was really cool because like usually I just use whatever but for such an like a special occasion it was really fun to be able to use my Chanel and like feel super fancy and like a celebrity so I use my rose bronze blush which oh, it's so amazing you guys I can't get over it and then my Illusoir um cream shadow so that was really fun and I had such an amazing time and it was just like a once in a lifetime experience so it was so amazing but um prior to that last week I used stuff repeatedly I didn't have time to do my weekly repeats and reviews on Friday because I worked all day so I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I used last week that I really really loved and just some other things that I wanted to mention and first of all yesterday because I was so exhausted driving home I stopped at this one gas station that I always stop at it's like halfway and they had vanilla coke in a bottle like a 
whatever one serving size bottle this is like the best drink ever and they don't usually sell vanilla coke so i was really excited and i'm just like savoring every last drop because there's just something amazing about vanilla coke so that was exciting but last week i really stuck to the same products and i'm wearing like my go-to look from last week because I wanted to show you guys what it was and I think in my last video I was probably wearing this similar look or a variation of this but for my eyes I started with the Maybelline color tattoo in Lavish Lavender which is my favorite color tattoo ever and it's so sad to me that this was limited edition but I swear all of their good color tattoos were limited edition um so it's just a beautiful like taupey lavender color and I've used a lot of it and it stayed pretty creamy compared to other of the color tattoos like you guys know I've got I think I only have three now and I used to have like 20 so I start with that as a base and then I was using my NARS Ondine single as like a crease blend out color so I would just start with the color tattoo and then buff out like the edge with Ondine so that's what I did today that's what's like really diffused in my crease and then I haven't used this palette in so long and I um, chose this to use last week and it's the silent treatment trio from wet n wild and I used just this bottom like satin taupe type color for all over my lid so I would do my crease first and then I would do my lid and these colors just complement each other so perfectly and like I said that's what I'm wearing today so I just reached for this all week last week it was the perfect go-to look because it was appropriate for work for when I had off it was easy to do and um, I use the same brushes every time I used the um, Real Techniques essential crease brush to apply the cream shadow then I used the Laura Mercier ponytail brush to do the Ondine in my crease. And then I use the Sony Kashuk 110 synthetic concealer brush to pack on the lid color. So I did the exact same thing like a robot every single day and it was fantastic. It worked so well and I really love the combination on my eyes. And I've also been trying out the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. I got this as a sample from Nordstrom. And... I don't know I think it's okay it's what I have on today I'm doing like the only top top lash mascara again and it's okay it's definitely not a favorite but I ordered a Laura Mercier mascara on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or whatever it was and um, so I'm waiting for that to come in but in the meantime I've been uh, trying out this sample and it's okay but I don't think I would purchase it it's not like super impressive to me and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still absolutely loving the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. It is so easy and it works perfectly with like my freshly dyed hair. Um, definitely a learning curve with the brush, but I've pretty much got it down and it's so, so quick. Like way faster than the pencil or the dip brow is for me. So this is perfect for right now. The color is really, really nice. And so I'm glad I stuck with it. A lot of you guys told me that color looks really nice, like with your hair, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm glad that I stuck with the auburn and didn't exchange it for a later color because I'm not sure if it would work as well. So I'm really still loving that. Another combination I'm still loving is the um, Too Faced Hangover RX. I, it's not Hangover RX though. It's like Hangover X. Um primer. And this is awesome. This is silicone free. It's really nice. I'm not sure if it like helps my makeup last longer, but it definitely helps moisturize my skin, which I really love. So um, it's just, it comes in this type of packaging with a pump, which I love. I use between two to four pumps. Usually I do do three pumps, um, but sometimes I just get really overzealous and do like four pumps. Um, it's just a really thin, nice, primer and it is not silicone at all i love that and um it's just really nice for it says proactive and nourishing and i think that's perfect for this time of year because my skin is definitely getting drier and like since i have a few breakouts here and there this just helps really moisturize them and i think helps my makeup look nicer so i'm not sure if it adds longevity to 
my makeup throughout the day but it really does I think make my makeup look nicer um so I really do like this I don't think this would be something that everyone would like but I really like it and I'm still absolutely in love with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. <sighs> I'm just so in love with it. And I'm so tempted because Lisa Lisa D1 has been talking about the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and how much she loves it. And that's a foundation that's always intrigued me, but I've heard like mixed things about it. So I'm... Um, obviously everything she talks about I want to buy um but I'm really really content with this and I really am still impressed with it so I'll probably stick with this but I'm just like surprised at how good this is for such an inexpensive price it's so accessible for so many people and I don't know it's just really really great so I have been loving that combination for my base. Then this week or this past week um, I brought out the RMS Living Luminizer which I love this. This is probably my favorite highlight ever. It's a cream all natural highlight and it's basically like a glow. It's not like a shimmer. It's just a glow. It's like a wet look and I don't know if you can see it. I swatched it right here. That's the one bad thing. I don't have like a viewfinder for my camera, which is good because then I don't stare at myself. But then I can't tell if you guys can see like the shine of this product. But what I've been doing, I don't know why I did this, but I took my dry beauty blender. Never used my beauty blender dry before, but I had it and it seemed like it would be perfect for this. And I just um, twisted the tip in the RMS and I just stamped it on my cheekbones and then kind of blended it out with the other side so I did this dry and it applies it so nicely because sometimes like in the past I've used my fingers and stuff and I feel like it just applies too much or like I can smudge my makeup but when using the beauty blender like I'm not sure how it would be wet but dry just really like places it but then blends it out really really easily so if you have the RMS um, Living Luminizer but you don't really know how to apply it, um, try a dry beauty blender or like a dry beauty sponge because it really worked amazingly and I loved that combination. And then I pulled out my favorite blush of all time. It is MAC Full of Joy. This week I was going for like a cool tone purpley look and so this was perfect. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today. It is just the most gorgeous brightening blush ever. It's like a super blue based lavender pink. It is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it and um, I think this is a must have for everyone. Even though it looks really scary in the pan, like why would you want purple cheeks? When you apply it, it just looks like a brightening amazing effect. So I love this. I think that you should definitely try it if you don't have any lavender blushes. For fair skin, it looks super gorgeous. Lavender blushes are my favorite tone for my skin, which I would have never thought that like two years ago. But when I got this a year ago, it instantly became my favorite because I always loved, let me get it, the um, Maybelline Wild Blossom blush, which was of course limited edition. And this is like the same tone. This is the Maybelline and then Full of Joy next to it. So I really wanted something to have just in case I ran out of the Wild Blossom. So these are awesome. I love it. It's really hard to find lavender blushes. So MAC Full of Joy is a fantastic option. Also, I just wanted to mention I used my favorite nail polish, Lincoln Park After Midnight. Lincoln Park at Midnight. So not Lincoln Park at Dark, After Dark. Lincoln Park After Dark is just like a cream. Lincoln Park at Midnight has this gorgeous silver sheen to it. And this is my all-time favorite nail polish. I didn't know what to paint my nails for the wrap party and I did a few options. I didn't like any of them and of course I went straight for this one. So it is chipped a little bit because you know I didn't put a top coat on it or anything. So I just want to mention that I use this and I love it and it's like the best thing ever. Also, I've been using the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This was the size that came in the Fab Faves to Go kit. Um, so that comes with the First Day, 
of course it comes with the first aid beauty it's all first aid beauty the facial radiance pads the face cleanser and then this and that's a really great set to start off experimenting with that brand because it's a super amazing price and the all the products are great um but i haven't I hadn't tried this before this week, but my hands have been so dry and I wanted something that was a little less greasy than the Equate um, moisturizer in the tub that I showed you guys in my last weekly repeats. And so many people swear by this for dry skin. So I've been using it. I love that it's in like a squeeze thing and it's so easy to apply in my hands. I think that it does a really good job and it smells like herbally. Like, it smells like, kind of like Noxzema, if you ever use that. My mom, I think she still uses it, but whenever I smell Noxzema, it just, I just know the scent of it so well, and this kind of reminds me of the scent. So this is really nice if you get the Fab Faves to go. Um, try this as a hand cream. I haven't used it on my face just because I'm a little bit freaked out to use this on my face. Um, I'm not sure why, but I, I am. Um, so I've just been using it on my hands and it's been working really, really great. One last, okay, I have a few last things. This is something that I got. I ordered my first Sigma brushes a while ago. I still have to haul them, so I haven't really mentioned them to you guys, but this was the free gift that came with it. And this is kind of a controversial Sigma product, but this is a sample of their cleansing, like brush cleaning glove. So this is like a little itty bitty size. It's like a little bit smaller than the size of my hand. The real glove obviously fits on your hand. It's like a cooking mitt and it's like double sided with all these different textures. So I thought this was really cool to get a sample of this product. Um, and honestly, having this sample, I probably wouldn't even need to purchase the full glove because this like really did the trick. I washed my brushes the last time I made a video uh, last Thursday and it really did to me, get my brushes really clean because you can like scrub the brushes really well on all these different surfaces and it really helped it lather up. And I don't know, to me it felt like it was getting them really clean. So with this small of a size, you can't really do all the different steps. Like they have different things for each little section, but I just kind of swirled it all over the place and I thought it worked really, really nice. So I'm not sure if I would buy the full size, even though it with this sample it came with like a coupon for it but just getting the sample was really cool and I was expecting like to get a little brush or something which would have also been really awesome but since this is something I would have never purchased because it is to me very expensive for what it is um it was cool to get a sample and to really enjoy the benefits of it without having to spend any extra money so that's just something if you made a purchase while they were giving that as the free sample definitely give it a shot it's i think it's one of those things people that have it love it but people that don't have it you don't really need it but if you have it you would definitely use it and really enjoy it there's things like that I think in life and this is definitely one of them it's just like an added thing that if you have it you will love it and enjoy it but if you don't have it you you will survive like you'll be fine but um it's just cool that that was the sample oh this last thing um I also ordered this on Black Friday or Cyber Monday it's just this giant scarf from Aerie and I wore this in my last video and what I've been loving to do let me back up um, hopefully you can see. Oh, and I'm wearing a Sherlock shirt. This is also from Hot Topic, like my Olaf sweater. So it says I am Sherlocked and I just love it. You guys who watch Sherlock will know what that means, but it's just a giant like square of a, sw of a scarf. And I'll link the color down below if you guys are interested in it, because I think it's a really beautiful, like grayish, blue it's very different than a lot of scarves that I've seen but I've been like folding it like kind of a triangle and then wrapping it around like this and it's just giant and amazing and I just think it's really cool I don't have any scarf like this like the color not the style not anything and it's just really cozy and I've been wearing it to work I've been wearing it just as like a uh, scarf with like my coat and stuff but I just think it's really nice it adds something really cool to your outfit I think and I don't know these types of big scarves 
kind of freaked me out like I didn't know how to wear them but doing like kind of a like a bandana like how you would fold a bandana that's how I've been wearing it and I really really like it and it's it feels really nice I love American Eagle and Aerie I think those that company is a really great high quality company for anything and I was going to show you guys the underwear that I bought but I thought that was weird but if you are in need for really good underwear get the airy it's like a vintage lace collection they are so amazing they are so nice and high quality and sometimes they're part of like the buy a certain amount for a really inexpensive price and when they are part of that that's when I stock up I just love it all the different styles are amazing and it's just really like sexy but like sophisticated at the same time I don't know I love it so if you need underwear check out the vintage lace collection from Aerie because it's amazing so I think that's it I feel like I haven't talked to you in so long so I wanted to tell you everything all at once but I know that this was kind of an all over the place video but I hope that you guys enjoyed it I really really enjoyed catching up with you guys and I'm so behind on comments and everything and I'm, I really really apologize for that I've just been so like frazzled and you can tell my room is a disaster again but I realized that tomorrow I have off thank god so I'll be able to kind of catch up on things that need to be done I have a huge running to-do list on things that I'm so behind on so I'm trying to just catch up on everything and oh, it's just crazy so um I'm sure you guys understand because I know that it's finals time for a lot of people a lot of my friends that are still in college like they're going through finals right now and um, for any of you guys who are going through that good luck you will do so amazing and it will be winter break before you know it trust me I remember how stressful finals time was and you will survive you really really will even though it doesn't feel like it but just study hard get through it and get home and enjoy Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you're whatever you celebrate we got to be politically correct here so um yeah I think that's it um I can't I don't think I have anything else to say but follow me on Instagram. It's my favorite social media besides YouTube and it's easy for me to connect with you guys and like respond if you have like a question or anything and when I'm not here I'm still on Instagram. So definitely follow me at megfish8 and I think that's it. I have a really good haul video coming up in the next few weeks um, and then it will be Christmas and I have so many videos that I need to do. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to film one or two. Um, I want to do the Winterlicious tag because Elle um, tagged me to do it and then I want to do more of my top five favorites um, because I have a bunch of ideas for that. So I really want to get that done and it's almost the end of year, the year and it's so crazy and I have so many videos that I need to do and I'm like freaking out that there's not enough time but we will take each day at a time and we will get through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I haven't spoken to you since we hit 2,000 subscribers but that is incredible to me and I really really appreciate it. I did not expect to even hit a thousand subscribers this year. On New Year's Day of 2014 I hit 500 subscribers. I was hoping that I would hit a thousand by the end of the year but to already surpass 2,000 is insane to me and I really really appreciate you guys and it's crazy that people sit and listen to me talk about what is mostly nonsense but somehow we really connect on not just this level but on like a really personal level and I feel like you guys are truly my friends and it's absolutely amazing so I really really appreciate you taking your time to watch and hang out with me and I hope that one day we'll all be able to meet because that would truly be amazing so thank you so much for my viewers who have been here from the beginning from the middle or who just subscribed yesterday thank you so much for being here and um yeah I just love you all so much so thank you again I hope that you're having a great start to your week and I will see you tomorrow